Hi everyone, in this video we'll be doing a review of Zubuntu 12.04. Now this time I'm going to start the distro off in the video. I don't normally show you this part, but this time around you'll see the Plymouth Boot screen is a bit different now. No, you have to be quick at seeing it because it's so quick at booting up now. Well, you saw all of about a second of it. It doesn't have like a sliding bar for as the system is loading. So it looks a bit nicer now. Anyway, Zubuntu 12.04 is an LTS release, but unlike Ubuntu, which is supported for five years, this is only supported for three years on the desktop. There'll be some timings in the description below. Right, let's go and take a look at the system. So Zubuntu is more of a classic desktop. It's based on an older fork of GNOME from ooh, some time back. So on the top you've got the application menu. Down the bottom here you've got a quick launch bar for a few applications. But you can customise what you put on there by right clicking and then going for add new items. On top right we've got the shutdown menu, a desktop switcher, a time, network, sound, chat and email settings. Now if we look at the application menu, you see there's no quick search here. That's a pity, we're seeing that a lot now with the modern operating systems. So you've got such as Windows 7, Unity and Kubuntu. In this distro, you've got to actually look through the menus to find your application, to find applications that you're after. Okay, so that's fine if you're used to that method, but I rather like the modern method of actually being able to search for an application within a few keystrokes. Right, anyway, we'll take a look at what comes pre-installed. So under settings, we've just got a variety of system settings here. Under accessories, so we've got the application manager, calculator, catfish, character map, file manager, leaf pad, onboard, on-screen keyboard, garage, global time, screenshot, terminal, and XF burn. Under games, so we've got Aerobart, Solitaire, Freestyle Solitaire, Mahjong, Mines, and Sudoku. Let's just open up Aerobart Solitaire. That opens up nice and quick. Let's go back to the application. So under graphics, we have a document viewer, a GIMP image editor, GFUM, Ristretto image viewer, and simple scan. I'm interested to see what version of GIMP we get now in Zubuntu 12.04. It comes with GIMP 2.6. So that's the older, but I suppose it's a stable release. So the newer one comes with a single window, not all these multiple ones. Right, under internet, so we've got Firefox for web browser, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Thunderbird email, transmission for downloading torrent files, and XChat for an IRC client. So opening up Firefox. Which I'm sure that opens quicker under Ubuntu. Let's just try opening a page, so YouTube. Yeah, that's looking good. And I expect that Flash is working now. I've installed the Zubuntu restricted extras from the software center. Right under multimedia, so we've got a G Music browser, Parole video player, Pulse Audio volume control, and XF Burn. Let's open up the G Music browser. It's just a fairly basic music player. Nothing fancy like the Ubuntu One music store that you get within Rhythmbox. Under Office, we've got lightweight Office applications with Abbey Word and G Numeric, as well as Dictionary, Document Viewer, Arage Calendar, and the Arage Global Time. Let's open up the Abbey Word. So that's pretty quick to open, and is a lot lighter than LibreOffice. I believe it's still compatible with Microsoft Office. I'm not sure if it includes the latest 2007-2010 versions though. Oh yeah, it does. So it's compatible with Microsoft Office, and it looks like with the DocX it's compatible with 2010. Under System, so there's just a few different system settings. We'll open up Task Manager and see how we're doing for CPU and memory usage. So CPU, very little. A memory usage that is 12% of 2 gig of RAM that I've allocated for this virtual machine. And lastly, we've got the Ubuntu Software Center. It seems to be taking longer to open things than Ubuntu does. Right, here's what I thought of Zubuntu 12.04. So easy to use. Well, it could do with the application searcher, as I pointed out that many modern operating systems have that now. Ease of installation. Yep, 
very easy to install. So styling, yeah, it looks pretty good. They've done what they can with in the XFCE. A customization. Now I can't give it full marks here because the limitations in what you can do out of the box with XFCE. Now I know you could install Compiz in here and you can have some fancy desktop effects, but I'm only grading it on what it comes with out of the box. So boot up speed, yep, it's pretty quick to boot up. A number of bugs, didn't find any within Zubuntu. Selection of pre-installed applications. Well, I'm marking all the Ubuntu releases like this. There's no proprietary codecs pre-installed, although they're easily installable through the Ubuntu Software Center. And number of apps available, that could always be more. And it comes with both the 64 and 32-bit versions. So, good points. It's ideal for less powerful machines, or for anyone who wants a more classic desktop, the sort of GNOME 2.2 styled desktop. But the bad points, on a faster machine, I'd actually say Zubuntu is slower than Ubuntu. I'm not sure why, but it just felt that way within the comparison of the two, within the two VirtualBox systems. But yeah, overall 88%, still a good score. So, thanks for watching, see you later.